saw the gate of the new school. Toto Jan stopped. The gate of the school she used to go to had fine concrete pillars with the name of the school in large characters. But the gate of this new school simply consisted of two rather short posts that still had twigs and leaves on them. Some beautiful lines from Toto Jan. I welcome you all to the second day of Just Read. Our today's first contestant is Adesh Ashad from St. Joseph Junior ICSC School. The Clever Monkey Two cats were fighting over the piece of cake. A clever monkey saw the fight. He wanted to eat the cake. He said to the two cats, Why are you fighting? There is only one piece of cake. Both of us want it, said the cat. I will help you, said the monkey. The monkey took a bite from the cake. Mmm, this is very tasty. But there is still only one piece. Let me take one more bite. The cat looked on. The monkey took another bite and another. Finally, there was no cake left. The clever monkey had eaten the cake. The cats understood that they had been fooled. How oh, why did we fight. We should have shared the cake without fighting, said the cat. Thank you. Thank you, Adesh. Our next contestant is Adit Shah from St. Joseph Junior ICAC School. Hi, my name is Adit Shah. I'm from St. Joseph ICAC Junior School. I'm from 3A. Today I'm going to read three Billy Goats. Once there, Billy Goat lived near a river on the other side. Of the river, there was a green field. One day, little Billy Goat said, Let's go to the field on the other side of the river. Big Billy Goat said, the river, there is a bridge over the river. A troll lives under the bridge. Great Billy Goat said, the troll eats goat. But little Billy Goat said, I am not afraid. So, the little Billy Goat go on the bridge. Who is on my bridge? The troll shouted. Little Billy Goat said, Do not eat me. Wait for the Billy Goat. He is fatter than me. So the troll let him go. Then the big Billy Goat on the bridge. Who is my who is on my bridge? The troll shouted. It is me, Big Billy Goat. Then I will eat you. You up, Big Billy Goat, said the troll. Billy Goat said, Do not eat me. Wait for the great Billy Goat. He is fatter than me. So the troll said, let him go too. Then the great billy goat got on the bridge. Who is on my bridge? The troll shouted. It is me, great billy goat. Billy goat said. Then I will eat you. The great billy goat said. The troll said the troll. But... Great Billy Goat hit him 
with his horn. The troll fell into the river. He was never seen again. The three billy goats went to the field again and eat the grass, fresh grass, when they rehab. Thank you, Arif. Our next contestant is Treya Prashaw, Sri Gogula Public School. Hi, friends. My name is Treya Prashaw. I'm studying in fourth standard at Sri Gogula Public School, Calicut. I'm going to speak the story, The Princess and the Pea. Once upon a time, there lived a courteous prince. His parents wanted him to marry a real princess. The prince also had the same desire. One day, he went in search of his real princess. He met many beautiful princes while roaming from one kingdom to another. But none could win his heart. With belief in his heart that someday he will certainly meet his princess, he returned to his palace. One day, it was raining heavily with thunder and lightning. At that time, a carriage stopped in front of the palace. A lady with wet clothes and muddy feet came down, followed by humble man. She saw a guard standing outside the palace and said, I am a princess. Can we get a shelter here for night as it's raining heavily tonight? The guard requested her to wait and quickly went inside the palace to inform the royal family. The queen quickly rushed to welcome the princess. The queen welcomed her into the palace but was not convinced whether the princess actually belonged to a royal family seeing her in wet and muddy clothes. The, the queen gave the princess a beautiful night dress to put on as her clothes were wet. Then she was served a royal dinner in the guest room so as to check whether she was a real princess or not. She ordered her servants to prepare the bed for the princess by pulling ten soft quilts over a thick mattress. Once the bed was prepared, the queen secretly kept a pea under the mattress and called the princess to sleep. In the morning, the princess was invited to have her breakfast on the breakfast table. The queen confirmed that with the princess whether she had good sleep. The princess said, Thank you for your hospitality. The bed was so soft and cozy and the quilts were of finest quality. But when I lay down to sleep, I felt some short of hardness under the quilts and mattress, which kept me awake the whole night. The queen apologized for the investment cost and assured her that she would look into the matter. Once the breakfast was over, she went to see her son. She told him only a real princess can feel the hardness of a pea under ten quilts and mattress. The prince was also excited and happy to know this. Soon, the parents of the prince went to meet the parents of that princess who were the kingdom and the queen of a far off kingdom. They fixed the date of marriage of the prince and princess. Few days later, they got married and lived happily thereafter. Thank you. Thank you, Treya. Our next contestant is Aram A. Chinmaya Vidyalaya, Calicut. My name is Arava. I am going to read a story today. Smarty and Shabby. Smarty always wake up early in the morning. He picked up the milk candy, got ready for school. Shabby slept late. Shabby, if you don't wake up, you will not be on time for school, said his mother. In the meantime, Smarty had got ready and was off to school. At school, Shabi was late yet again. You will have to stay back after school as punishment, said Miss Hound the headmistress. 
Hey, there is a party in my house. All of you are invited, said Shorty. Smarty and Furry were very excited. I will get ice cream for the party, said Furry. I will bring my mama's pudding, said Smarty. Shorty looked at Sabi and asked, What will you bring, Sabi? I will try to come on time, said Sabi lazy. Everyone had arrived on the on time. Smarty was there. There so was Furry but Sabi had not yet come. He was still at home. Sabi took a long time to decide what to wear. During the party, Smarty got a clean hit in the game of Nick Pins. He knocked down all the pins. Smarty said, Why don't we have a lemon and spoon rice? Everyone agreed. The rice ended in a tie between Smarty and Fun. It was time for dinner. All the games had made everyone hungry. Sabi reached Shorty's house and raised the bed. Shorty opened the door and said, Abu, we had such a wonderful time but you are late and everyone has gone home. Abu was very sad that he had missed the party. He promised never to be late again. Thank you.